Hello everybody, this is Jigsaw so we'll talk to you from my laptop. And today I will make a I will start making tutorials on how to use Spouse Spy effectively and not get worried about anything such as crashes and stuff. Yeah. Alright. So what is Spouse Spy? Um uh, Spouse Spy is basically a program um based around Spy and Nights. You can view models. You can look into the game files and its contents. Um, it's a program I've been using for at least half a year, maybe more. And it's got me into making animations really good. Um, of course, helped by some other Spotify by users like Happy Apathy and YouTuber Miles Simon for his tutorials, which you can go check out. Um, his basic and advanced versions. Right now, I'll only teach you, I'll teach you everything, even cover his parts, but I'm gonna be more in depth of how to m do the animations that I do in my videos. So, we could get started right now. So, first thing you wanna do is, of course, open Spouse by which if you haven't downloaded, I'll give a link again, or you could watch my other video on how to get it yeah so the first thing you'll notice is you'll see this blank white knight just standing there just this is basically the model that you'll see every single time you open spots by um, it's nice for it to be there because that's the center of the map it this is a huge map um, then you could create many many types of models around and um, I forgot to close my steam god damn it anyways so before I start doing anything what I must warn you is never ever 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 save anything and I'll, I'll teach you how to save stuff like um, whatever new items you make or buildings or even new models that I'm about to show you right now but you should ever not save it on its original form like this model if I were to um, retouch on this and then save it it will crash my spiral spy and I will have to basically delete everything and then re-download it in order to fix it which could take up a bunch of valuable time and it just it's just really bad so anyways well I'll teach you what I do uh, at the start of every animation what I first do is I don't need this knight I clear him he's gone done he comes back after a while but I just keep doing that I delete him next thing I do is I leave this is the view settings this is to view the environment, the background, which I don't have, just a white bland. The grid, which is to tell me the locations and everything of each night. And the compass, the X, Y, and Z right here. I use those two like during the beginning before I said anything. Next is the edit. Right here is really important because this is where I mess around with putting everything together. I don't use this model thing I use prep I use this thing called preferences which I'll get to in a moment first I'm just teaching you the whatever is in here next is the environment I don't play with the file this part you don't have to touch it I don't really know what these do because I don't really need them so this is the global speed this will tell you if you're animating or if you set this to like at least half the global time speed it will set the animation at half um, the scale that it originally is. I mess around with that too whenever I had to do running and walking which I know most of you know by experience of my animations that it's taking me a while to set. Alright so next I would be starting this lesson by how to make your own model. Alright guys First, we're going to start off by going to preferences right here. I enlarge this by quite a while. 
I don't want to drink a lot because since I record only the screen, there's going to be at some point where I have to stop. But I'll get to that later on. Right now, you go to environment and you create a new environment model. What this does is you get to put in any type of dot that file, which I'll teach you in a moment what it is, and place it into this model viewer. So for example, with creating your new night, this is my new folder. I'll get to that in a moment. Go to character. Oh, by the way, the reason I probably have more files than you is because I have more downloadable, 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 bleh, downloadable content um, that I downloaded from Happy Apathy's Tumblr page, where I lit, which I'll make a link down below. Um, stuff like spy, spiral spy tile set. Um, useful FX item sets they're all really useful and I use them a lot um, but anyways to create your own model you go through here and the PC you keep going all the way to the right until you see model underscore level right here they're all in alphabetical order for me so it's pretty easy you open that and look what you look at that you're seeing your bland model night again oh, but we're gonna change him a, a little bit um, so I'm gonna create my night all over again and this is how I start everything it gets easier later on but first I'm gonna start with how I do my thing alright so what I do is I go all the way to the bottom where it says parameters these parameters if I change it will let me see my night as how I create it over and over again every time I sit every time I um, change it and then once I save it I could see it again without having to do this process over so colorization I want that to be by choice so that I don't change the textures of the height the height I don't really care about helmet of course I want that to be by choice armor by Choice not translated. <laughs> um, weapons and she I usually leave that off. She away, don't touch that. Let's see, I keep going down. Um, helmet back, these are for accessory wise. You'll get to see what it does when I go back and place in the accessories. Choice, choice. I don't have to put them all by choice, I usually leave one by direct in case I have like an extra thing I have to attach to myself unless I do have so unless all my item set all my accessory sets are filled in then I place them all as choice so let's see we're going back up to we're gonna start off at attachment zero bone helmet this will create the helmet of my knight. It will probably stuff you off at Piff because that's the that's the helmet that the bland model is at right now. And we're gonna go off to my helmet. It's a quick server, so I'm guessing my helmet is under Jelly. Most of the file names in here are kind of different, like Firm Mask. That's the Wilbur Cap. Uh, these are all based on the helms only, so. Um, there's also the obsidian you could check that out um, Nose is cobalt white brim. So don't worry. You just have to look around. I'm done this for about six months So I know my way around this so silver. That's the one. That's my helm. My color is cyan so I'm gonna Change that and Version 3 yes Next is the armor root That's an attachment one um, double belt that's for the cobalt so I'm in the right place my specifically is in model cobalt underscore four that's for the assure um, I don't really have to change the color because it doesn't show but I'm gonna change it anyways for reasons and if you hear my stomach rumbling it's cuz I'm hungry and I'm doing this in 10 o'clock in the morning <laughs> Okay, so the face I'm gonna change this to cyan also this Attachment six bone helmet. It's not for the helmet specifically. It's for the 
This is for the eyes. So they changed my color of the eyes. But you can't see my eyes, so it's just for you guys when, when you have to change your eye color. Uh, let's see. And then we're going to start off. I don't know what Shadow does, so I leave that off. I start with Bib 1 he Head. That This and so on is going to be for accessories. So we're going to start off with getting out of here. This is the armor part. The accessories are under gear. Wait, I should probably show you in case you have like the wrong file location. And RSRC, you have to go to items, gear, accessories, um, helm I'm starting off at. And here you get to see all the accessories. Now there will be a thing where I'll show you how to change it to halo accessories, freeze, or even surge because I know a lot of people have problems with that. I used to have a problem with that, but I'll teach you when I get there. So let's see. Eyes. So we're going to start with the goggles. The goggles are under here. Goggles. Um, preset. Preset is basically whatever the, uh, the in-game gives you. Recolor is basically like a prismatic thing. Yeah. It's basically what it is. So presets are for in-game and recolors for prismatic mine is I think it's red is it red yes it's red it's red which is I think heavy heavy goggles either heavy or toasty I get confused with those two heavy and my, my color is cyan there we go so I got my goggles ready let's see Next is my bolted V, my heavy bolted V, which should be on the tops. Um, uh, let's see, Sam Crest, right here, Sam Crest preset. Oh wait, that's not it. My bad. See, it's head crest. It's always confusing. That's where you had to look around. Uh, let's see. No, so it's heavy. That's what it was. So that. I'll leave my eyes the way it is. I think it's still see. I don't know. If this doesn't have to be recolored, the bolt V since there's no color exaggerating it, but I'll put it as cyan anyways. For in case. Next is let's see my McTennis? Yeah. My heavy my toasty McTennis. That'll be on the sides. McTennis, McBurns, McTennis presets. That would be, um, is it red? Yes, it's red. That's toasty. And color. This, you had to use the color exaggerator because of the back. I did a few mistakes in, the, in my... If you catch any of my mistakes in my animation, you probably have noticed that. So, what am I missing? My ribbon. Of course, my last touch. My ribbon should be under... Doesn't say ribbon around here. I think it's under scarf. Here we go. Yeah, the places where these go. It's blue, so it's gold. Yeah. You probably have to check on the Spiral Knights um, wiki to check on the colorization. But if you have the model in game already, you just take a screenshot and you look at the color, see if it's right. So next, we're gonna go to armor wise. I'm gonna start off with the front so you can see. In the front, I only have a canteen. So canteen preset. And now it's a military, so it's green. G-R-N. Um, the color, cyan. There we go. All right, next will be, what else do I have? I think I'm done with the front. Now I have to go with the back. The back, okay. So on the back, I have prismatic Valkyrie wings. So I go to wings, Valkyrie. Uh, mine says prismatic, so I go to recolor. Right now it's a magenta. I'll change it to cyan. All right, and there's my model. You can get a good look at it there. Models all clean. And if you notice, if you go back to this, the preferences, you see that whatever you put on choice will be set like this. So you can't be changed until you edit the model again. 
Uh, everything else you could change, but this is good for when you save your model, so that means you don't have to do it all over again. It just stays there completely. Alright, so what if I want to save my Solotron? My, my little figure model. Now this is what I've been saying. Do not save. Swear to God, you'll be sorry if you do. You have to go to save as. Now for me, I already created a new folder. But I'll create one for you. Just for you guys. You create a new folder to... I put mine to model. You could put them anywhere in the RC. I just put them in model because it just tells me that there was on my model files and I get to put anything in there. So you name it whatever you want, I'll call it um, example. Alright. And then you open it. It's empty, so we're gonna make this um, example Solotron. That's my name. Then you save. Now what you could do is you close this. Alright, and this is what happens if you if you don't save it or anything. If you click if you try to open this again or if you click on edit one more time. Sorry, that's my stomach. It'll go back to a bland model. And basically you have to start all over again in the little process. But since I saved it. I'm going to go back to my model in my RC files example. Now it's gone for some reason because when you save it, it doesn't save it as an in game file. It still saves it as a dot that file, but it doesn't say it. You have to switch that to all files and you see your file right there. So some files are going to be dot that some files that you made are going to be invisible. So when you're going to open something that's invisible or not a dot that file, you have to search as all file types. So you open it and there's your so your so strong model. And I just realized my eyes are actually heavy. I mean toasty. I got to change that. If you want to change it, you go back to edit. And as you can see, it doesn't go back to the bland night as before. You go all the way down to whatever you need to fix. Mine's is uh, go down, go down. Goggles. Here we go. It's not red. It's heavy. And then you just this time. Now this time you don't have to save as because this is your night. This is your model that you just created, and it's not an in-game file. So in this particular case, you could save. And nothing bad will happen. Then you could close it, and then you see that nothing happens to him. And that's great. All right. Um, now I should go. Oh, now the next step is animating a model. Well, I'm going quick on this, really, because I know I know some people are really, really starting on doing this because of inspiration purposes just like how I was so next animation 